Almost every house Apollo visits has a ceiling fan, but are you spinning energy savings or just spinning your wheels? One of the truisms in my world is hot air rises, cold air sinks. So in the winter, you wanna move the hot air that's risen to the ceiling and recirculate it down to warm you. This is especially important if you have a home with high ceilings. Yeah, all that warmth is up there where it does you absolutely no good. Conversely, in the summer, you wanna draw the cool air up, not just so it's chilling your ankles. Ceiling fans, any ceiling fan will help move the cool air and the warm air to where it's needed. But here's what you need to know to get the most efficiency from your fan. Fan blades are set at about a 14 degree angle. That angle is either to direct the air up or down. Quick, which way is your fan spinning, clockwise or counterclockwise? <laughs> Not sure, most folks aren't. For summer, you want the fan to spin counterclockwise to create a circular motion, pushing the hot air down and then picking up the cool air. You want a good bit of air movement to create sort of a wind chill effect. So run that fan at a higher setting. For winter, you want the fan to spin clockwise so that the angle blades pull the cool air up and push the hot air down. You also wanna set your fan on a lower setting. You don't need a great deal of air movement. Totally sacred cow, but wait. How do you get the fan to change direction? There's a little switch on the motor housing. Flip the switch and you go from summer to winter operation. Goes without saying, turn the fan off before you make the change. Those blades will knock you out silly. Ooh. Check out our other how-tos. We've got lots of ways to help you be smart and save money.